guys, JT Wisdom of Love and Elegance and Grace, and I hope you are having a fabulous day. Um, it actually started today, it actually, this is the first day that it actually was really like cold, I mean like a wintry mix. And, uh, you know, when you think about that, you know, the wind, you know, being, getting cold and everything, it started me wanting to go through my, uh, you know, my wardrobe and seeing like what kind of coats, coats that I have and, and like, or some on trend. It's great to have, it's great to have coats for a long period of time. They still look good. They still kind of, they still look great. The classics. But then there's sometimes where you have coats that, uh, you know, either the zipper's out and you're saying one day. One day I'm going to get that zipper put in. And that's been like three years ago. So it's like either I'm going to get the zipper put in or I'm going to do something else with it. So when I was look, going through different coats, coats and looking through the different coats and kind of going through things, seeing which things I would want to maybe possibly give away or something like that, um, I actually happened to see on QVC, uh, Isaac was right. He had this really, really kind of cool coat and a really kind of funky color. And I said, well, you know, they've got this holiday, you know, returns going on and stuff. So I'm going to just go on ahead and try it. So um, this is the coat. It's, uh, it's, it's a faux fur and it's in a nice kind of pink, pinky color, pink color. And it's kind of like his signature, which you see on like uh, his little, on his logo too. You see it because you can see that it's on the logo too also. So and so i said well let me let me try this on and see how this is and like today i think yesterday was like in the luda high it was like 36 and today it was like 44 and i said well this is perfect you know for this kind of this kind of weather what a perfect time to try it out and so i usually like always kind of size up on some coats because usually i like if i like to have like a sweater or something like that underneath them i usually like to have a lot of room so like normally i'd wear like extra small or small but i went with i went with a medium and i'm glad i did because i got like a turtleneck i got a sweater and everything and um and i think it really fits really good it's a warm coat um i could put like a scarf on with it i could wear a little hat or something like that and so it really is a nice coat it has it, it, you can see I put my hands in my pockets. It's really nice. And it's just like a kind of like a, I guess what it's called like a car coat, a coat that you could, you know, actually get into the car and you wouldn't have to like, you know, move it or flip it over or anything like that. So it's a really nice coat. And I really thought it was a, a really cool color because and it's very soft. As you can see it's real soft and it's just a really nice coat. So I think I'm keep I think I'm keeping this one. And I think it's still available. I think it is still available. So if you if you like avant-garde colors and like kind of having a splash, um, I will put the link to this in in the box below. And you know, I was going through things because I realized that uh, it's you know, like like for example, I have you know I I thought I really thought I really thought I you know that you know speaking of you know kind of. You know going through things and looking through things and how to spruce things up i really thought that i had native american heritage and so um i was i had these i had native american dolls and uh and you know really finding out more about the heritage and and then uh i actually uh did the 23 and me and ancestry and everything and then i realized that it's a it's it, god rest my mother's soul that there is something there. There is some Native American heritage there, but it's not not near by what I think they thought that it was. And actually it's, I have more British heritage than I do Native American. So if you wanna hear all about that story, that's in my, in, in my video that's either linked here or here, probably here. So I have three Native American dolls and, uh, and I got, this couple, I got most of these on on uh, the trips that my hubby and I went to, because um, I always would hear my either my mother or my grandmother talk about how um, my my great grandmother was a uh, full blooded Cherokee, and I was, and I always you know you always wanted to try to find out more about your your family and everything. So that was that was one I got, and I thought she was really pretty, and and then I got this one to this one here 
Native American doll here too. And then I got this Native American doll. And I got this Native American doll too. And you know, like they have their beads and the uh, their, their little shoes and everything. And I mean, I remember when I went to Santa Fe, I got this, I got this book on black, black. It, well, the name of the book is called Black Indians. That's the name of the book. Um, to find out more about Native American, more Native American heritage, uh, and realizing that, you know, a lot of, a, a lot of black people have Native American heritage. And the one thing I found out is that I did not have as near about as much Native American heritage as what, um, I was told. Uh, and actually maybe like, really like a point something it was point three a point it was really low but at, uh, god rest my mother's soul that there is there is some, some native american heritage there and uh but it's just interesting how you know when you hear stories from your family and everything and then you realize like it's really not as much as what you thought and it was more british than native american and I had never even encountered that it would be more, more be, that even British would even be in there. So that was interesting too. So it's like, I have these dolls and I've had these dolls for a long time. So, um, and they, so they meant, they still mean, they mean something to me because of the travels that I went on, but it's just interesting how, you know, the reason why I got them originally and how really didn't have that much heritage her, heritage native american heritage is what i thought so um so i'm just kind of going th going through a, a lot of different things and just seeing as like the mean the meaning of, of things and the meaning of different things that i have you know and just kind of going through uh my home just and i don't know let me know in the comments if you do that sort of thing if you you know like when my, my husband and i were talking about that how you have something in your home and it gets to the point where you don't even really recognize that it's there and it's been there for years and you're like, well, why is that there? Because I actually have two, I have two dolls that I got from a museum shop. I just thought they were cute. And, and those two dolls have been there for probably like the last 10 years. And it's like, you really, I never really thought of anything much about them and that's in my living room. And I was like, that really kind of doesn't go with, with my, you know, with the way my, my, with the way my home looks now so it's like I do I really need to have those there or not so it's just you know just different different meanings and different things that the way you were going to express yourself so um let me know in the comments if you if you think like that or if you kind of want to change up stuff because you know like you don't want you know because I, I can speak for myself is that I always want to be evolving and I always want to be growing and I always want my home to look fresh and to look new and to look look current uh, with, without looking trendy kind of like how it is with you know with with my clothes as well so let me know what you think in the comment box on that because that can get kind of deep but it's amazing how when we thought about that how there's certain things that will be there and all you do is dust them off and they still stay there and you just keep them there and it's not because you really necessarily like for them to be there but you just kind of want to change it up a bit and then you have to realize, wow, I didn't even recognize that, but that's been there. And it's like, do I still want want that there after all these years? So let me know what you think about that. And how do you how do you decorate your, you know, and when you think about decorating and, and you keep things for a long period of time, do you change it up? And, uh, so I just wanted to share since it was a it was a first cold day. I mean cold day where you really needed some gloves and a hat and everything. I just wanted to share this uh really kind of bright coat that you know that's really a cool it's really a nice coat it's really a cool coat and i just wanted to show that to you and i also wanted to show you my new or our, our, our new edition this is luca oh uh, we will talk we'll talk more about him a little later but i just wanted you to see him he is only four months old oh my goodness he's only four months old so i just wanted you to see uh hubby and i and seppi's new little addition to the family so say hi luca hello luca hello okay so well until next time this is jt wisdom and if you do not subscribe subscribe to the channel 
because we talk about all kinds of different life, things in lifestyle and all kinds of different things, inspiration, faith, you name it. Be bold, be elegant, be you. God is for you. This is JT Wisdom.